Okay, good morning guys. Um, today I'm going to show you how to use a special feature of the iPad that will allow you to control uh, where students can go. This is um, a feature of iPads that might be useful when, for instance, you want children to do uh, reading on RAS Kids at a center and you don't necessarily want to monitor that center to make sure that children are only staying in the app that you want them to. So what we're going to use is a um, special setting of the iPad that's called Guided Access. And I'm going to show you how to do that. What this is going to allow you to do is to set the iPads up with a certain app and students can only use those app, that, that app that you have set up. Okay, so you start out by going to your settings. Okay, then you are going to go to uh, accessibility, which is under general. Okay, and if you just scroll down, you're going to see at the bottom it says learning and it says guided access. So you're going to go ahead and you know, usually it'll be off, but you want to make sure that that's turned on. Um, here you can set a passcode. Okay, so if you want to make sure, for instance, that children cannot leave guided access, you can set up a, a passcode. So I'm going to do that right now. I'm just going to make it easy. I'm going to say one, 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 one. Okay, and then you have to re-enter it. Okay, so the passcode is set. Another thing that you probably want to do is set up this accessibility shortcut at the bottom of this screen. All that's going to enable you to do is um, it'll allow you to quickly um, turn guided access off by pressing the home button three times. Okay, so I'm just going to show you how this works. Okay, let's say I want the kids to be on uh, reading A to Z. So I'm going to open up my reading A to Z, okay, our kids A to Z. Okay, and I, from here, if I wanted to, I can click the home button, I can go away from there, but you don't want the children to necessarily be able to do that. So uh, when it's like this, I can use my special um, access uh, with the home button. So I'm going to hit the home button three times really quickly. So now a message will pop up. It'll say guided access started. Okay, now I'm going to hit the home button again. Okay, so there is there is no way that the students can leave at this point. Now a message did come up saying if they hit the home button three times they can leave, but then watch what happens you have to enter the passcode. So they're not going to know the passcode necessarily. So basically, um, yeah, they're going to have to use the app that you have um, set guided access up underneath. Okay, and then again, quickly to take guided access off, you just hit that home button three times, enter your passcode, and you'll get a menu like this. You can decide whether you want to end guided access, whether you want to resume it, um, whether you want to, uh, at the bottom you can see options to control different aspects of the hardware. So you can control the volume buttons, you can control the motion, you can control the keyboards. Um, if you want to make it so that they actually cannot touch it, you can slide the touch slider. The only reason you might want them to do that is if like, you just want them to watch like a movie and you don't want them to be able to, to turn it on or off or click on something else there. Um, you can also set a time limit. Um, so you can, let's say you know your period is going to be um, 45 minutes long, you can set the time limit to be 45 minutes so that you don't actually have to go back in and cancel uh, guided access. Um, I'm going to end it here and um, I hope that, uh, that you enjoyed this session on learning about guided access and how you can use it to limit what children can do on an iPad if they're working independently.